The Filper Beta 200 was a pioneering helicopter developed by Filper Research, a division of Filper Corporation, under the leadership of William Orr. The company, based in San Ramon, California, operated from 1965 to 1968. The Beta 200 was part of a series of helicopters designed to utilize the innovative Gyroflex rotor system, which employed balance weights at the roots of the rotor blades instead of conventional flapping or lead lag hinges. The development of the Gyroflex rotor system began with Copperfield Corporation, formed in 1958 by former Lockheed employees, including William Orr. Copperfield created a proof-of-concept testbed, N912C, featuring a tubular frame with tandem rotors and a single pilot seated astride the structure. This design was independently developed but benefited from an agreement with Lockheed, allowing Copperfield to seek venture capital for further development. In 1965, Filper Corporation acquired the development and marketing rights to the Gyroflex design and established Filper Research. The Beta 200 was designed as a two-seat personal helicopter with an aerodynamic fuselage, forward and aft pylon-mounted rotors, and a passenger compartment at the rear. The engine was mounted below and forward of the passenger compartment, driving the rotors through a complex drive system. The Beta 200A prototype, N5000F, first flew on May 26, 1966. Powered by a 210-horsepower Continental IO360E engine, it featured innovative controls, including a fixed-wing-style control wheel. However, flight tests revealed significant issues. The helicopter was underpowered, exhibited a nose-down pitch during forward flight transitions, and the gyroflex rotor could not be controlled by force alone. These challenges prevented successful forward flight, limiting tests to hover only. To address these problems, Filper Research decided to upgrade the engine to a 250-horsepower Continental IO520 and extend the fuselage by 36 inches, creating the Beta 400A. The first Beta 400A, N5 and 5F, flew on July 13, 1967. Despite improvements, flight testing showed persistent issues. On November 27, 1967, during an envelope expansion flight, the rotor system became unstable, leading to a fatal crash. The pilot was unable to parachute clear and was killed. Filper Research ceased operations in April 1968. The disposition of the remaining airframes, including N5000F, is unknown. The company's ambitious plans for various beta models, including the Beta 300 and Beta 600A, never materialized beyond the conceptual stage. In summary, the Filper Beta 200 represented a bold attempt to revolutionize helicopter design with the Gyroflex rotor system. Despite initial promise, technical challenges and a fatal accident led to the project's demise. The legacy of Filper Research highlights the risks and innovations in early helicopter development.